Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation about Lao wedding ceremony. First of all, let me introduce about ourselves. My name is Lisa. I'm 20 years old. I study at Supanabong University and my major is General English. Hello, my name is Tong Si Si Kampai. I'm 22 years old. Now I study at Supanabong University. My major is General English. And my name is Pudason Humalajan. I'm 20 years old. I study at Supanabong University in Faculty of Languages. And this is about the content and we have six main points to talk with you on today. Okay, now we are going to start with the first main point. Long ago, young boys and young girls became acquainted during the village festival through Kunlam poetic form for folk singers, either in songs with can, common musical instruments or the spoken form why the young people meet each other in different kinds of festivals. Okay, now we get to the next main point. The second point, talking between boys' parents and girls' parents. When the parents know there is an attraction between Bao Sao, young boy and young girl, the boys' parents suffer a family cancer with a relative and curses attend. If the result of this cancel is positive as a festival to accept as a daughter-in-law, if both family agree to accept talking son-in-law and daughter-in-law. After that, they are going to make an engagement party before the wedding party. From now, we are going to the third main point, the choosing of wedding ceremonies day. Traditional, the wedding date has to be on a good day in lunar cylinder, so parents of either or both sides usually consult elders or senior ex monks who have good knowledge of law, custom, and tradition before the wedding date is set. One thing most Lao knows is that the wedding is not supposed to take place during the three months Kalpansa. Buddhist land late July to late October. And here is He Kui or Groom Parade. As you see the picture, when the bride price giving procession is finished, the groom's group is in form and they begin to walk to the bride's home, playing musical instruments, singing and dancing along the way. There is a song especially composed for this procession that sang in every groom parade. Everybody is laughing, cheering and smiling in the most joyful way. The groom walks under an umbrella carried by his friend. This part of the love's wedding is supposed to be really fun to join. This procession is called the Hekui or the meaning is group pirate. And here is the Basi ceremony of wedding. The groom is met the door and led by a female relative of the bride to the Pakwan, where his Basi ceremony will be taking place. Once he is setting in, the bride is led to the Pakwan from her room by another elder female relative. She is sit on the left side of the groom with the parents and relatives of both sides sitting nearby. During the sitting process, the bride's relative and friends will give her a slight push to make her land on the groom intentionally. And the other party will try to push the groom the same way. It is believed that the first to touch the other one in this ceremony will have more 
power over the other party in their married lives. After everyone is settled in, the Basi or Sukhan ceremony begins. This involves the chanting by the master of ceremony, or you can say Mopon. The egg feeding the bride and the groom feed each other an egg and the trying of white string on the wrist of the cobble. The mopon is the first to tie white thread around the wrist of the bride and the groom. Next are the parents and the relatives of both sides. After that, other guests take turn to tie the white thread on the wrist of the bride and the groom. While trying the thread, everyone chant their well wish. Some also roll the bank knot or two and tie by the thread before tying on the rest of the cable. From now, we are going to the final main point. After the party is over, it is time for the party to begin when the guests are invited to eat, drink and dance. The groom and the bride will open the dance floor in Lao style dancing, or you can call Lamvong in Lao's language, and then others will join in. Lao style dancing is a much different style, with peers and line dancing going in circle. The party could go until late with food and drinks, usually served with whiskey or be allowed. Finally, I would like to say thank you for your watching our video. Goodbye.